Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I have my Woolworths weekly shopping haul to share with you. This is for our family of three, my husband, myself, our 14 year old son, and we have a German Shepherd puppy dog. So this week, it's a little bit earlier. It's about half past 10 in the morning. Um, we've shopped, we're home already. Uh, my husband and I have been invited out to the local yacht club. My husband is the branch manager of one of their major sponsors and we are going to the opening of the season. So I had to get everything done this morning. I've also got to try and get ready for the markets tomorrow. So it was kind of a quick shop, but Kay was back to school this week. So we really needed to get back into that routine I've got a few things left over from last week. My husband won another meat pack. Now they're not meat, they're not big meat packs, but I'll try and insert a picture up here um, of what he got this week. It was just a small one, but it was enough to do us for a meal. So um, I've still got some protein left over. So we're gonna do that. Um, I'm trying to go back to using up what I've actually got. Grocery shopping has gone insane. I'm trying to bring down what I spend every week. I am managing to do that. So I'll share that at the end with you. Um, but I'm trying to do that as well. We've got lots of things going on. We have decided to get a new puppy for those of you that have been following for a little while. In August, we lost our beautiful Tilly girl um, and the breeder, Axel's breeder, has a litter of puppies due in a couple of weeks time. So we've popped in an order for a short haired female. And if there's one in that litter, we'll be getting a puppy at Christmas time. Uh, in saying that they are not cheap. So I'm needing to save some money, put things aside because we'll need to travel to Perth to um, pick her up as well. So in a nutshell, we're just trying to cut down on what we're buying this week. So um, I will let you know what we're doing. So Axel is quite liking this grain-free dog food, the Nature's Goodness one. It's only a 2.15 kilo, but because there's just him at the moment, I'm quite happy to just buy these. So I'm going to alternate between the flavours. So this is a roast turkey and steamed vegetables. The Baxter's one he's got off those a little bit now. He's eaten them for a while. I don't know if he's just sick of them or if that's a... He still has moments of cries and sulks. I don't know whether he's still missing Tilly. I reckon he probably is. Um, that's the food that we used to feed them. So I just don't know, but we're trying changing his food just to see how he goes. So that was uh, $8.30 for that one. So it's a little bit more expensive, but because there's only him, um, I'm happy to do that at the moment. Now, Della Rosa, my husband's been having pizzas for lunch. And this brand, I'll show you what I normally buy from them, but they had these in the pizza section. They were bacon and cheese. There's a two pack in here. They call them pizza super subs. Um, I've just been putting extra cheese on the other pizzas and popping them in the air fryer, but we might try these for hubby and see if he likes them because when they're not on special, they're $6.00. 30 or 50 something the um, receipts got a bit black along one section but um, they're heaps cheaper than the other ones so we'll try him on those see what he thinks if he doesn't like them we'll go back to the other ones when they're on special but the other one I needed was plain cheese pizzas for kale he only likes cheese pizzas I've bought these before well I've been buying these for a long time the Della Rosa traditional uh, pizzas but you used to be able to get them in a pack of three for like $8.70, shrinkflation, we are now getting only a packet of two and they are $8.30. So they've pretty much gone up 30% because three pizzas at $8.70 and two pizzas for $8.30, you know, they've just cut a shorter pizza, it's just in a smaller box. So, but he does like these and they're individually wrapped in there. So when we're having one of our pizzas, I could just whip one of these out for him and he has a cheese one. But um, at that price, they're still cheaper than buying the individual one. So I'll keep buying those just to pop in the freezer. Mind you, it's been a long time since I've bought them. So it might have been a while since that's changed. But we just don't go through pizzas all that often in the freezer like that. Um, the Marathon Puffy Dogs were actually on special. So for $6.60 instead of $8 something, I think they are now. So 
I've said to Kale he can get these when they're on special. He does like them, so they'll just go in the freezer for a, a treat for him. So what I've done is I've bought some things that I needed, but if there were things I know that we use that were on special, I've got them if I haven't already got them at home um, because then when I need to get them and they're not on special, I'm not spending that extra money. So that's kind of how I've worked out how I'm going to shave something off our groceries each week. And Kale's milk, he's discovered that the 750 mils masters are better value. They're only about 40 or 50 cents uh, dearer than the um, like the little cartons. So he'll get one of these. He can put the lid on it and he can come and go sort of all week with that one. So that was $3.70. I needed some more Greek yogurt because I've been taking chocolate chia pudding to work this week. Um, I'm actually, since I've got back from leave last week, I'm going to be in the office on my own until November. The seasonal staff have finished. They are looking at extending the contract to one of them, but it's not happening until November. So I'm in the office on my own. I'm working 7.30 till 4, which isn't too bad. Uh, it's pretty quiet, but I just can't leave the office. So uh, I take chocolate chia pudding with me. I'll have a keto coffee before I go in the morning, chocolate chia pudding and some sna a few snacks throughout the day, and that gets me right through the day. So I've got this one. That was $6.60 for the one kilo. And then the Harvey Fresh Hilo Milk. I just got the one litre because we've got some still left over. 17th of October. Um, sorry, 17th of October. It'll last a while. And that was $2.95, I think they are now. And there weren't a lot of these... Um, a lot of choice for milk. I think they were still stacking fridges. I wonder if the truck was actually late because we got there about, oh, I don't know, half past eight, quarter to nine this morning and there was quite a few things that were bare and they were madly stashing shelves. So, and for my husband, I've got the Tamar Valley. This is the, what's this one? Tamar Valley, the creamery. Uh, mangoes and cream I got for him. So that was just something a little bit different. Uh, for six dollars thirty and then chicken thigh fillets um, I didn't get to that Mexican chicken dish last week so I'm going to do that today so it's um I think it had uh tin tomatoes chicken corn no it might not have tin tomatoes it might have fresh tomatoes and you kind of mix it all up and bake it in the oven and then you can have it with mashed potato or rice or and I know Kayla will want rice hubby will probably want mashed potato but we'll, one way or the other, we'll have a meal and that'll last us for a few. So um, it's got quite a lot of veggies in it. So we'll do that. So that this is uh, just over half a kilo for $9.29 because it's $16.50 a kilo. And because Kale's back at school, Axel will be home by himself during the day. So I've gone back to getting him something to munch on when we go to work. The beef soup bones, there weren't many in a packet. So I looked at this one. This is a lamb off cuts. It looks like there's just bits of like, you know, chops and stuff like that in there. But I can probably divide that up for the week and give him two or three pieces every morning. And that'll give him some meat to chew on, but some bones as well. So we got those. That was $6.77. Uh, Colby cheese. So this is a sliced cheese for Kale to have his ham and cheese sandwiches when he gets back to school on Monday. That's just the Colby ones. He likes those. Two individual packets. They are $8. I think it's 80 or 90 And then the sour cream. I've actually got four of these today. I always usually get a couple. Uh, but this is markets, but I'm also starting to stash things for the show. Our local agricultural show is uh, three weeks away. Uh, actually, no, it's only two weeks away. So um, I'm, I'll have three shops. This is one shop and then there'll be two more. I make samples of a lot more of the dips um, and the spice. Uh, make a lot more dips using the spice blend samples for the show because it is my biggest event for the year. So I've actually got four of these. So that'll get us through this week and start that stash. They're $3.20, so that was $12.90. Um, so there's kind of rather than buy them all at once and like go and buy, you know, a dozen, um, I've actually spreading them out over a few weeks and I've checked the dates on them. These are all November. So all first to November. So they'll be more than fine. And that's normally what I do. I'll check the date as long as they get past the show, which is the 20th and the 21st. Um, then I will just sort of keep them aside 
and um, you know, then I don't have to outlay as much money. Now the salami, the Italian style salami, this is a Don, um, it was half price, so 160 grams. I quite like this one and in fresh bread with tomato and cheese, it makes a really good sandwich if you're in a hurry. So um, I thought, well, we've got that, but then it could also be on pizza if uh, hubby wants some more on his pizza or just have it with some cheese and things, or I could take it, you know, maybe for lunch one day, if I don't want to take the chia pudding, I can take some salad and some cold meat. So it was half price at $3.20. Unsalted butter, because I will do a back to butter biscuits for kale for going back to school. So just got the 250 grams, that was $4.30, the Woolworths brand, and the thick and cream, because this is what I have in my keto coffee. Um, thick and cream, 300 mils for $2.00. Oh, is it 80 30 i'm not sure there's a like a line where it hasn't printed all down the side of the docket so it's somewhere around there so we've got those um the hillview shredded cheese because we will need that for this week so that is 700 grams and that was ten dollars thirty uh glen 20 disinfectant we just needed some more and this one was on special today it's a big 375 gram can they were $5.75. They had the little cans on special from six to five, I think. Uh, but this was better value. And I mean, it was the same fragrance. So I just got the bigger one today. Um, then we need some more tissues. And my husband was quite sick while uh, Kayla and I were away. It took him a while to sort of get rid of all that gunk out of his head. So we needed some more tissues. So I just grabbed those. I like to have always a couple of packets on hand. They were $3.30 and then I saw these in the clearance section in the health food one and I'm not 100% sure but my teenage son has not great acne on his face. Um, I suffered terribly with it, so did my husband. So we've been trying tea tree, we've been trying all the different clear seal products. He doesn't like the scrubs but he likes the washes. So I think the scrubs would help him a little bit better, but if he's not going to use them, there's no point. But I saw these. These were clear skin, and they relieve symptoms of acne and reduce pimples for clear skin confidence. I've got no idea, but I'm prepared to throw anything at him to try it. They were actually $20 marked down to 8 for 30 capsules just in the little pouch. So I'm going to get him to try them because then he can just have one in the morning, and uh, we'll just see if it helps. I don't know we're getting into summer so or into the warmer weather it's going to be quite warm here over the weekend and i'm just wondering whether um you know hot and sweaty as well teenage boys i don't know so we'll try those and see how we go now my husband went to the dentist during the week and they gave him a sample of this toothpaste which is a colgate total sensitivity and gum health and he said it was actually pretty good and he wanted to maybe try it long term so they were on special um instead of ten dollars each they were two for 14 so i actually grabbed two uh so there's two of those and they're the big 200 gram ones so i got those for him so that was those and i also got him two jar ginger ale they were on special that's the sugar free one that's the one that he has they were a dollar 65 each and I got myself one of the Indian tonic water that sweeps as well with a zero sugar for $1.65. So I don't quite need one yet, um, but they're on special. So that's what I'm going to do. If we use it and it's on a good special, I will buy one because then when we need it, I've got one here. So that's what we're doing. So we've got that one. Um, Kale chose the fruit medley, the Angus Park. So this was actually on special today. So... I think it was nearly $9 when we got it last time. And on special, it's $7.60. So it's a better price. He has this, like, you can't really see. Oh, hang on, there it is in the little window. It's diced up and it's diced uh, sult well, it's sultanas, but it's diced apricots, peaches, apples, and pears. He will have this just in his lunchbox um, to have a chew on, like in one of the little compartments. But also a little bit of this in some of that porridge that you chuck in the microwave, which has still got some in the cupboard. So he's cleaning that out and then I oh, said I would buy him some more. But you have some of that, throw it in the porridge when you throw it in the microwave and it sort of gives it some substance as well and gives it some extra flavour. So he's got that one, um, Vita Wheats, my husband and myself 
both like Vitamix, Vita Wheat with um, Vegemite and um, some of Kale's Colby cheese. So I got the pumpkin seed and grains and the nine grains today because they were two for seven dollars, I think, or seven, six dollars fifty, something like that. I don't know. Something around that, but they're definitely cheaper to buy as the two for that. I'm just looking at the docket and it's not being helpful. I'd like to say just two for seven, but we'll be around about there. Uh, macaroni and cheese, the Easy Mac was on special today. And this is what Kale likes, my hubby likes it as well. Four packs for $4.70. If uh, hubby's in a hurry, he'll eat two packets, of, like heat up two packets of these and have that or Kale will cook it for him. But Kale will eat one, sometimes two as well. So that's kind of just in the in the cupboard for a quick and easy snack. Um, now, Oreos, these were half price today. So I said to Kale, well, they're half price, so he can pick them. They had the, like the blonde ones or golden ones, or whatever they call them. They had the mixed ones, and then they had the plain ones. So he just chose the plain ones, but they were $2.50 at half price. So it was a really good one. Um, the Red Rock Deli chips were half price today as well. So I got the Australian sea salt ones. Now these will be stashed away for the show. Uh, I'm there for two days. Although Kale does go and get me lunch and stuff during the, the time that I'm there, uh, I can't leave my stand. So it's usually we get there at 7 or 8 o'clock on the Friday morning. We are there until 8 o'clock Friday night when the fireworks start we're there uh, like eight o'clock again even earlier on the Saturday and then we pack up about four so it's a really long couple of days on my feet talking to people and I like to have snacks like this that I can kind of just have a, a sneak on uh, to get me through until Kale can get me some food because sometimes he'll go off to buy lunch and it'll he'll be gone for half an hour 40 minutes because the queues are really long so I've learned to take a stash with me. I have an ARB fridge that we'll have plugged in, so we'll have be able to have some fresh stuff just before, but I've got a few things like that that we'll start putting away. Uh, the LCMs were half price as well, so although I said to Kale one treat for his lunchbox this week, they were both half price, so I let him have both, and then it might mean that next week he just has to get by. We'll see what they've got on special. So the LCM's five pack were two dollars twenty-five, and then the Maggi no two minute noodles. These are on special too. So I don't think that these will still be on special um, in the next couple of weeks. But it's school holidays, going back to school Monday. Possibly that's why all this stuff is on really good specials. So I got the five pack for I think they were three dollars. So we got those, and then I'll just move down a tad to get the rest of the stuff on the table here. Uh, whole egg mayonnaise. Now, this is what I make my dips with. So I use the sour cream. So I use a half of one of those little containers of sour cream, one tablespoon of this whole egg mayo, and half a tablespoon full of the spice blend. And that makes, you know, around about half a cup of dip. So I do that for all of the varieties I have. And there's some new ones this year. So I'm going to have to calculate my samples and work it all out. But these were half price today. So they won't still be in a couple of weeks time. This actually worked out in the squeezy bottle, even more economical than the jars, believe it or not. And the praise whole egg mayo is the one that we like to use. So they were $2.75 each. That was $5.50 for two. Um, and two will be enough for me to get through the show. But if they're on special again before the show, I'll grab one and put it in the cupboard because we are getting into the busy season. Markets will be every week, uh, at least one day. And getting into December, potentially I'll have markets Saturday and Sunday. So we'll just start stashing away. Um, the Woolworths apple sauce, we needed some more. I used the last bit on our pork the other day. Uh, so just wanted to get some more. I just use this one. It's $1.80, 370 grams. Look, when you're just having it um, a little bit as a condiment, when you're having some pork, it's good enough, this one. So we got that one. And Kale wanted some freeze-dried strawberry. They were on special this week. So that's the Frisp Strawberry Crisps. 
and they are dried. There's only 15 grams in this packet, so it's really, really, really light, but he does like them. They were $2.30, so we got those ones. Uh, the coconut milk, I couldn't remember if I had a can in the cupboard, and I'm sure I checked, but I just couldn't remember. So I got one of those because I'll use these for this for my chocolate chia pudding. So that was 95 cents and that'll do me a whole week of chia pudding. Then Kale's chocolate. Now the blocks of chocolate were the ones on clearance. There was none left on the shelf. And the other blocks were all either two for eight or four or three for 12. And I said to him, we are not buying multiple packs of chocolate. He can have one. So he went to the share pack shelf and found the caramel wallabies 12 pieces. They were on special for $3. So he's got one of those, which is around about the same blast as a block of chocolate. Yes, there's not as many grams in here, but it probably lasts longer because they're 12 individually wrapped pieces. So he's got those ones. Um, the veggie crisps, these were half price. These are just the original blend of purple, orange, and orange sweet potato and taro. Um, it's the original blend, so they're not flavoured. They'll just be sort of likely salted, possibly. Uh, but like I said, this is another one I'll stash away ready for the show. But they were half price at $3.25. And the trail mix, this will be for me during the work this week. But if these are on special, I'll probably grab one of these for the show as well. Because this is a really good one because it's got nuts and fruits. It's got um, pepitas, it's got chocolate drops in there, it's got a good mixture of stuff. So these are $5 for 400 grams. And then the kidney beans, because I have still got some mints in the freezer and I may do either Moroccan mints or taco salad. I'm leaning towards Moroccan mints, but um, just in case that changes, I grab the kidney beans at $1.10 for the jar. And the boodles, well, I don't know whether I'll have them this week or whether I will put them in my bag for the show. But these are both on the clearance shelf for a dollar a packet. Um, so they were, there's chocolate and chocolate hazelnut there. And I thought, well, we'll just see them. They're a, a healthier version of a little chockey. Then we've got pineapple slices in juice. These I just keep in the cupboard. When we have a pizza, I just chop up. Um, a bit extra, uh, if I, especially if we use a frozen pizza, chop up some extra salami and pineapple and olives and cheese and capsicum and stuff and, and chuck it all on top as well. So that's just for the cupboard, but that was on special for $1.90. And then oh, we'll move around the other side of the camera because we're nearly down to the end. These were on the clearance shelf as well. I hadn't even seen these before. These are Orion Choco Boy. It's got, they look like little mushrooms. The stem's a biscuit and the top's chocolate. I thought it was a little bit of a novelty thing for Kale. If he doesn't want them now, they can go in the bag for the show because food at the show is ridiculous. I think, I remember them like $20 for a hamburger and stuff like that. Um, I think it's $20 for a little tiny pizza. So, and your weight and the food's not that nice. So I try and have snacky things so... We'll buy something while we're there, but we don't buy all the food that we eat the whole time because it would just like chew into our profits. So that was $1.60 for that packet. And then uh, the Sakla free from tomato pesto was on special this week. So I grabbed one of those at $4.75. We use that for our cheesy spaghetti just so we've got it in the fridge. And the aeroplane jelly was on special this week, so uh, it was still 10 cents or something dearer than the Woolies one, but because it was on special, I let Kale grab these today. They're $1.20. So he's picked the green apple and the strawberry. He's got two flavours, because what he's been doing, I've got a, a Pyrex dish that's like a litre and a half, I think it might be. And what he does is he makes up one, puts it in the bottom, puts it in the fridge until it's nearly set and then makes the other one and layers on top. So he's got the two different colours in there. He's been doing that while he's home on holidays. And um, I figured, well, he can make it this weekend. It'll give him something to have after school during the week until I get home. Because he does uh, walk himself off to the bus in the morning and then walk himself home in the afternoon. Tortillas, Mission Tortillas, this is a 12 pack. They were on special this week as well for $3.80. Uh, but I just thought we haven't had, the, the weather's getting warmer. We haven't had tortillas for a while. It's a really good thing to have, or otherwise I do like, you know, casadillas where you do the meat and cheese in the middle, pan fry them, 
like so it's a bit like a toasted sandwich and so a bit of an option there's 12 in there just so i've got them we've got quick and easy tea i can put cold meat or chicken or whatever in them wrap them up with some salad so we have those and the odd bunch tomatoes so these have actually gone up a little bit they're back to five dollars thirty but now we're getting into that salad season again not sure if i've got pictures of what i cooked i've got a feeling i might have a picture of the meat pack and stuff that we had if i have i'll put it up here with just the salad that i make it's kind of my take on a greek salad it's usually tomato cucumber snow peas red onion capsicum feta olives whatever else i've got in the cupboard and i just put a little tiny dressing over the top of that hubby loves it and this time of the year when it warms up we can have it with any protein so they're the kind of things that we have so they'll be coming in again and then the odd bunch carrots i searched through them to find a packet that had some smaller ones in there so they'll be lunch box size for kale but also for us as well they were only 90 cents for the kilo and a kilo of zucchinis there's only three in here and they're a little bit average i think they're a kilo no 750 grams sorry um so they were six dollars thirty I do a Mediterranean veg with um, red onion, capsicum. I've still got some capsicums left from last week. Zucchini, pan fried or with some seasonings. Stir a little bit of balsamic through it. And that's great with protein as well. But I also was going through my cupboard the other day and I got a packet of something in one of my subscription boxes a while ago. And that's a zucchini bread. Uh, where you grate the zucchini so i thought i might even try that because that might be something i could possibly take to work as well we'll see how much time we've got over the next few days um but cukes so kale's cukes 250 grams they were three dollars twenty continental cucumber that was an odd bunch one as well so that was a dollar twenty a snow peas went on special but they'll be for kale's lunch box and we'll eat them 250 grams for six dollars 90 baby spinach 120 grams because like i said we'll probably do that moroccan mince this week uh two dollars 20. probably you'll have crumpets before um Kayla and i go off to the markets tomorrow so got him a packet of those they were two dollars 20. kale's waffles and uh, no, crumpets were half price but so were kale's waffles today they had these on clearance they're light and buttery waffles these are the eight pack for $3.60 now I saw on it the best before was the 2nd of November so they must just have had a bucket load of them uh, unless they're not going to stock them anymore so we got those and then the soft white bread he's got the extra soft white loaf the 800 grams which is the bigger one and he found it with the thinner one so he's decided he likes the larger slice but the thinner bread for his sandwiches so he's got this one for $3.50 um, I know they're always on special if you buy two, but we don't buy two because I buy one and then when I take him to Guitar Ensemble at the high school on Tuesday morning, he starts at 7.30, so I'll take him on my way to work. I go to the fresh bakery in town that's out that way. So um, that loaf will get us through till I get to the bakery. And then the last thing is the Tip Top Raisin Toast, $420, uh, $420, $4.20. It's 520 grams. That was what someone was on special today. So that's what he has got. So that is our shopping for the week, everybody. So I've got a bit of everything. I've got some stuff for the um, for the pantry. I had some like cleaning kind of stuff as well. So I think I've done pretty well this week in saying that, um, you know, last week I spent 220 odd dollars. I'm trying to keep it under 250. A little bit of a blowout today because it was $259.36 but in saying that um, I did have my 10% discount that I could have used that would have brought it down to that but I thought I would keep that discount for when I'm needing some more protein and I've got to buy some more meat because that potentially will be a bigger shop as well so $259 look I'm still pretty happy with that apart from kale's bread on Tuesday um, hubby buys himself a coffee during the week um, so I don't count that he has the gender specific shapes for breakfast and mostly for lunch as well because he can have them on the run they've got the nutrients in them that he needs to get him through the day so really um, and I haven't got any cookies this week for him because Woolies hadn't baked them yet 
and he said he's still got some left from last week. So really it's only dinners for hubby um, and Kayla and I, it's all of our meals. So that's what we've got. I did save a total of $72.10 though because we've got lots of special items. So I was really pleased with that. I've got double reward uh, points or the everyday extra points, a double. Um, but it still didn't get me up to the next 2000 mark although i did get some extra dollars when we were in bunbury the other day so i've still got 330 dollars saved for christmas which will definitely get us um a week of groceries plus some christmas goodies which i'm really happy about so that's all i've got today i've got to get going it's almost 11 o'clock i need to stick all this stuff away and then get ready hubby will be back before 12 and then we'll be heading off to the yacht club so i hope you're having a great week and you have a lovely weekend. It's going to be nice and sunny here over the weekend. And I think we have turned the corner. We are well and truly into spring. So hope you're all having a great week. And until next time, take care. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.